or am I taking the trip? Aye. Aye. And California. What country is California? Very good. It's in Mexico. It'll take many months for us to get there. Many hundreds of thousands of miles. But we will get there. Unless, of course, we don't make it around the Cape. And we will all end up in Davy Jones' locker. This particular contract is an agreement between you and I. And what is stated on here, you will do, and I will do. I've signed it, and I only expect you to sign it. It reads, Articles of Agreement between Master and Seaman, the Merchant Service of the United States, Office of U.S. Shipping Commissioner for the Port of Boston, 1834. It is agreed between the Master and Seaman or Mariners, or bringing hands in your case, of the Brig Pilgrim, of which R.P. Nelson is a present master, or whoever shall go from that master, now bound from the port of Boston to San Diego, San Pedro, Monterey, Santa Barbara, San Francisco, and other high gathering ports and stations along the coast of Alta California, and such other ports and places in any part of the world as the master may direct. Now, according to this contract, where are we going? We go. Alpha, All right, we're in Alpha, California. You. Monterey. You. Monterey. Monterey, where else? All right. San Diego. San Diego. California. Well, California is Mexico. We're going to Alpha, California. San Francisco. San Francisco. San Diego. 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 Where else? What? Speak up. Other countries where? Where is that along the way? Where might these other countries be? Hi. Perhaps where else? Hi. such other ports and places in any part of the world as the master may direct. Now where else are we going? Hi. Any other part of the world may direct. Exactly. Anywhere in the world that I say. If for some reason the bottom has fallen out of the hide gathering trade, it is no longer profitable to collect bullock hides, then I may direct our ship to go to Canton for spices. Or perhaps to the Sandwich Islands. And, uh, Lately around Boston, I've heard the Sandwich Islands called by another name. Anybody know what that is? Hi. Why? Strange name. Sandwich Islands. And back to a final port of discharge in the United States for a term of time not exceeding 24 calendar months. Now, before you sign a contract, you must read it carefully. Read all the big print and all the fine print, especially where you see asterisks. An asterisk is a mark. That looks like that. Now, if you see that mark, that tells you to go someplace else on the contract and read that next. It just happens to be an asterisk after 24 calendar months. And down below, there is a space here for me to write it. And I have written as follows. It is also agreed that should, should approximately 11,000 bullock hides not be collected within the allotted time period, the vessel shall remain on the coast of Alta California until such time as the vessel's cargo is complete. Now, how long are we going to be gone for? All right. How long are we going to be gone for? All right. Until we collect all the hides. Until we collect 11,000 bullock hides or more. If we collect more in two years, then we will. We will not leave before two years. If it takes us longer, if it takes us five years, and so be it. If it takes us 20, that's how long it takes. And the said crew agreed to conduct themselves in an orderly, faithful, honest, and sober manner, and to be at all times diligent in their respective duties. What does diligent mean? Diligent means hard working. You will work hard. Is that clear? Aye, aye, sir! And to be obedient to the lawful commands of the said master. 
lawful commandments. Now, is there any command that I can give you that is unlawful? Anything that I can tell you or make you do that is against the law? Well? No. Raise your hand. Fine. No. No, there is not. What I say is law. <clears throat> Where's the hide gather me? Where is the hide gather me? The mate of the hide gathering crew. Mr. How do you pronounce that? Seriano. Seriano. Listen up, Mr. Seriano. Going on shore in foreign ports is prohibited except by permission of the master. Do you understand that? Are we going to a foreign country? Mr. Seriano, are we going to a foreign country? Hi. Hi, we're going to Mexico. That is a foreign country. Going on shore in a foreign port is prohibited except by my permission. Is that clear? Hi, hi, sir. Very good. No dangerous weapons or grog allowed. Does anybody have any dangerous weapons? Does anybody have any grog? Does anybody know what grog is? All right. All right, watered down rum. And none to be brought on by the crew. Also here, there are a list of provisions. I signed this contract and I agree to feed you. Also payment stipulations for that. Now, <clears throat> You will sign an extension of the four castle card called the muster roll. This here is the muster roll. If you do not sign this, you will not be allowed on board my vessel. I will not take you. We'll find someone else. Now, you will sign on by crews. Galley crew will sign on first, and the hide gatherers, then the line handlers, then the riggers, and last will be the bosun's crew. Mates, you will sign in first. Thus, leave the galley mate, which is where Mr. Logerman, you will be the very first person to sign the muster roll. Mates, you will sign in with a Mr., your first and your last name. You have earned the title of Mr., you will sign it as such on the muster roll. After the mates, the safety officer will sign on board. The safety officer again will sign in with a mister, their first and their last name. Then after the safety officer, the rest of that crew will sign on simply with their first and their last name. Mates, the mate of the crew, the safety officer, then the rest of the crew. A mate, safety officer, the rest of the crew, and so on. One crew at a time. You will print your names. Now, seeing as most of you look like green hands to me, fresh off the farms of Vermont, you probably don't have much schooling. So many of you may be illiterate. If you are illiterate, you cannot sign or spell your name. Make your mark, whatever that mark is, an X, cross, a fish, whatever it is. Then, mates, you will be standing by as you watch each member of your crew sign on. You stand right by the muster roll and you watch every single person sign on. Now, if someone is illiterate and they have made their mark, mates, you will sign your initials next to that mark, and that will let me know that you have witnessed that signature and it is legal. Is that clear? Aye, 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 sir! Very good. Mates, once your entire crew is signed aboard, everyone in your crew is signed on, then you will take your crew out this door.
turn around and face it. Hold on to the combing. Down like this. Captain. When you are this far down, you will then grab the handrail, go down the ladder, and Mr. Seriano wishes to go down the ladder. When will you carry on and go down, Mr. Seriano? Anna? When he gets off the ladder. Aye, when Mr. Swan steps below decks. Is that understood? Aye, 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 sir! Only one man stationary in passing gear. So you will position them on the ladder. You will pass the gear from here, down the ladder, below decks. Is that understood? Aye, aye, sir. When all the gear is below, you will... Have your crew line up along the port rail and await the second mate. Stop all wristwatches. If I catch a wristwatch above deck, it will be confiscated and it will be mine. No cameras above decks except for your safety officer. Is that understood? Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. Make sure that your crew gets out all the worn gear they are going to need before the dinner hour. They are not going to be allowed below decks again until dinner time. So if they think they might need a jacket, before dinner, they better bring it now because they will not be allowed to come down and get it when they get cold. Is that understood? Aye, aye, sir. Then your crew is going to come back up the ladder when that is the back. ship. What is the bow? So, front. Front of the ship. The front is up there. The starboard is the right side. So they will meet right up there. Is that understood? Aye, aye, sir. Is that understood? Aye, aye, sir. Very good. A simple aye will do. Aye, aye is Navy. This is not Navy. Simply aye will do. Mr. Sanchez, I want you to instruct your crew to gather all their belongings. They will go down the ladder performing a human chain. In this case only because you have special instructions, you may have more than one person on the ladder. Unless otherwise instructed, the ladder is to be used with only one person on it at a time. If an officer needs to come down the ladder, be honest, you get out of his way quickly. Understood. Very good. Okay, Mr. Sanchez, I want you to have your crew fall out, get their belongings. I have a form of human chain, pass their balls below, and they will store them in the main hold on the starboard side. Is that understood? Very good. Carry on. One moment.
move it. How about the standing rigging? You cannot move it. Standing rigging does not move at all. Running rigging does move. For this vessel, here's a piece. This is another piece of running rigging. If you look out here, this is a piece of standing rigging. That does not move. Standing rigging is just there to hold something up or for sailors to climb upon. Running rigging is actually rigging that moves color. How about running rigging? It's a lighter color, it's a neutral, natural color. I want you to go around the bow up here and I want each of you to grab a piece of running rigging. Carry on. Ah, excellent job, sailors. Now I want you to release that piece of running rigging, carry on. And I want you to grab me a piece of standing rigging, carry on. You cannot reach it, point to it at least. Stuart, you have running rigging there, standing rigging. 